It is by far the most popular game out there right now. Of course, we're talking about Pokemon Go. But do you know where your child is hunting for their favorite characters? A shocking new report from downstate New York found that in some cases, Poke players are being led to locations right in front of or near the homes of sex offenders. And though these numbers don't reflect Western New York statistics, they are still raising red flags tonight. So here's how this all breaks down. The report released by State Senator Jeff Klein from the Bronx says investigators using the Pokemon app across New York City caught 57 Pokemon characters directly in front of the homes of sex offenders. These offenders are currently on probation or parole for sex abuse or child porn convictions. Investigators also found 59 of the game's meeting places within a half block radius of the sex offenders' homes were visited during this investigation. Klein says he's worried predators can use the Pokemon Go app to lure players. You know, or the lures, uh, we have not found that somebody did that with the intention uh, of luring a child. But it's something that it could happen. happen. Klein says the investigation found that 73 of the 100 sex offenders' addresses were within a half block of a Pokemon Go related item. Now, Klein also says there is nothing to stop sex offenders from playing this game. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paolo Soro found out, there are many people out there who want something done about this. Yeah, it freaks me out because uh, our kids, they just go out, they, you see them walking around with their heads down uh, and they don't know where they're going. Hector Pagan can't hide how worried he is, thinking one of his three children could be playing Pokemon Go near a sex offender's home. I would be really concerned if my child is playing this game and happens to go by a predator's house. I, it freaked me out. His teenage kids are three of 30 million people who have downloaded this app. A new study has found this game has been leading players in New York City nearby sex offenders' homes 73% of the time. And even though the study focuses on a different city, Pagan can't help but think this game could lead anyone somewhere dangerous here at home. I had a co-worker where he told me that um, Kids were just coming up almost to his driveway, and um, he didn't know what they were doing, but they were searching for Pokemon. So, but they don't know if you know somebody like that could be a predator. He's not the only one who never thought about this situation. It's kind of uh, sketchy to have, you know, if it's if a Poke stops near a sex offender's house, they can use the lures to draw people in. So that's a little bit scary. So I never really thought about it until you guys asked it. This Manhattan-based report seems to be motivating local players to take precautions. Too. I'm never alone. I'm usually with a bunch of friends. So, and I don't, I won't stay out late at night because you never know what could happen. For now, this dad can only count on his children's common sense and street sense as they try to catch them all. Playing a game, I think everybody's entitled to play a game, but when it comes to that, yeah, I, I would want legislation on it. This bill would ban sex offenders from playing augmented reality games like Pokemon Go and prohibit any game features from appearing within 100 feet of a sex offender's home. Right now, there is no timetable for this bill. Live in the studio, Paolo Suro, 7 Eyewitness News.